Good evening, everybody. Turn your hymnals to 318. 318. You ask me why I'm happy, so I'll just tell you why. Because my sins are gone. And when I meet the scoffers who ask me where they are, I say, my sins are gone. Oh, they're underneath the blood on the cross of Calvary. As far removed as darkness is from dawn. In the sea of God's forgetfulness, that's good enough for me. Praise God, my sins are gone. Twas at the old time altar where God came in my heart, and now my sins are gone. The Lord took full possession, the devil did depart. I'm glad my sins are gone. Underneath the blood on the cross of Calvary As far removed as darkness is from dawn In the sea of God's forgetfulness That's good enough for me Praise God, my sins are gone When Satan comes to tempt me And tries to make me doubt I say, my sins are gone you got me into trouble, but Jesus got me out. I'm glad my sins are gone. Oh, they're underneath the blood on the cross of Calvary. As far removed as darkness is from dawn. In the sea of God's forgetfulness, that's good enough for me. Praise God, my sins are gone. I'm living now for Jesus, I'm happy night and day Because my sins are gone My soul is filled with music, with all my heart I say I know My sins are gone, oh they're underneath the blood On the cross of Calvary, as far removed as darkness is from dawn in the sea of God's forgetfulness, that's good enough for me. Praise God, my sins are gone.
All right, good job, kids. It is so good to have Grace back here with us tonight. We're going to have her come on up. And I think she's going to have some help here in a little bit. So get behind her she sings tonight. All right, we've done this once, and it went pretty well. But I need to have them come up, like, last. So, you know, I don't kill the spirit after they make you guys all excited. <laughs> but... Um... The same in 42 My great grandpa poured his heart and soul Into preaching the good news In these tattered old red hen books I've caught a tear or two Cause it's hard to sing to sad Stained glass never saved a soul When these fears ain't on the road it's caught up yonder I know the pulpit's just a wooden stand But it's felt the power of God's hand As His glory filled the place with awe and wonder I know it's just a building plain and simple wide the building where Jesus changed my life. Claimed to be the biggest, nobody ever called it cool, but it's where my mom had met my daddy. Vacation Bible school, it's been the picture perfect dream of a thousand. It's heard the weeping as a loved one's laid the rest, the sad goodbyes. I know the stained glass never say the song, and these views ain't on the road it's caught up yonder. I know the pulpit's just a wooden stand, but it's felt the power of God's hand as His glory filled the place with all.
just before I sing this. The song is really old, and I feel like literally everybody and their brother sings it. But um, it turned on while I was in the car, and I just felt like God all over it. And um, I try my best to sing what God wants me to sing, and um, this was on the roster for tonight, so... again tonight did a good job both girls did a real really good job all right beach boys go ahead and make your way up here <laughs> Glad 
sadness that pours from Emmanuel's veins. The sinner was plunged and beneath the flood and God saved. Since then I walk in forgiveness. All of my guilt was erased. The chains of the past are broken at last. I got saved. Oh, I got saved. I'm undone by the mercy of Jesus. I'm undone by the goodness of the Lord. I'm restored and made right. He got a and tasted your grace I was so lost till I fell at the cross and got saved oh I got saved I'm undone by the mercy of Jesus I'm undone by the goodness of the Lord I'm restored and made right he got a hold of His will is stronger, that's why I got saved. I'm undone by the mercy of Jesus. I'm undone by the goodness of the Lord. I'm restored and made right. He got a hold of my life. I got Jesus. How could I want more? Jesus, I'm undone by the goodness of the Lord. I'm restored and made right. He got a hold of my life. I got Jesus. How could I want more? I got Jesus. How could I want more? I got Jesus. How could I want more? Band, 
to the great I am. If you think it's a dream, well it ain't. I've been singing with the six. The angel man shouting hallelujah to the great I am. If you think it's a dream, well, it ain't. I'll be singing with the saints at the morning light, bringing in the day because there is no night. Saying goodbye to the heartache, trouble, and pain. I'll be sitting at the throne with the angel man shouting hallelujah to the great I am. How many of you believe those words tonight? I tell you what, I'm ready to sing with the saints, but most importantly, I'm ready to get out of here uh, of this world full of sorrow, defeat. Uh, there are good things of this world, but there's also things that we can't bear without Jesus Christ. And I just can't wait to get to a point where we're set free from all those uh, uh, bondage and everything in this world. Never fail. 
sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. That's why I trust him. That's why I trust him. Yeah, I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. not look like a lot to some people, but seeing my dad walk from his hospital bed to the out in the hallway today is an absolute miracle. There's no other explanation for it. And uh, we've just been like this, up and down, up and down, but dad's faith has never wavered, and what it has taught, taught us, it don't, I mean, we're all going to be going through hard times, but it's what you, how you behave, how you act. I mean, he has every right to say, is, why me, God? You know what I mean? He has every, but he hasn't. And I just, he is, his faith is just unshakable and it's taught all of us. And, but without prayer, I don't know where we'd be. <coughs> and uh, I'm just thankful tonight that he gets a break. Go ahead. Some just see someone down on their knees Talking to the air Words lost on a breeze Some just see teardrops fall into the floor Just a waste of time Not anything more
And it's a direct line to the throne room Where you can find someone who cares And if you need some proof I can tell you There is power, power in the And in the middle of the war, you guard my soul. You alone are the anchor when my sails are torn. Your love surrounds me in the eye of the storm. When the sand is falling out from underneath my feet, between the black skies and my red eyes, I can barely see And when I realize I've been sold out By my friends and my family I can feel the rain reminding me In the eye of the storm You remain in control And in the middle of the war You guard my soul You alone are the anchor When my sails are torn your love surrounds me in the eye of the storm mm -hmm. When my hopes and dreams are far from me And I'm running out of faith I see the future I picture slowly fade away And when the tears of pain and heartache Are pouring down my face I find my peace in Jesus' name in the eye of the storm Will you remain in control And in the middle of the war You guard my soul You alone are the anchor When my sails are torn Your love surrounds me In the eye of the storm The Lord is my shepherd I have all that I need he lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing righteous to his name. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will never be afraid. When the test comes in and the doctor says I've only got a few months left, it's like a bitter pill I'm swallowing I can barely take a breath And when addiction steals my baby girl And there's nothing I can do My only hope is to trust you I trust you, Lord In the eye of the storm Will you remain in control And in the middle of the war
that good singing tonight. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord for that. If you have your Bibles tonight, we're going to be in John chapter number 11. And we was going to read a lot, but we ain't going to. We're just going to read a few verses here. John 11. I'm going to start with verse number 1. John 11, verse number 1. Tommy said Sun, or Wednesday night after service, he said, Debbie's not going to be able to come. I'll just leave it up to you or your dad. I knew right then I was had. May as well start studying. May as well start praying. Amen. <laughs> Amen. He knows. Amen. John chapter 11. And I, I realize it's later and school's in full swing, but I'll just give you what God's laid upon my heart for this evening. And I really feel like it's a timely message for what our church has been going through and what several of us in the church has been going through. And, uh, I'll just give it to you the way God gave it to me. John chapter 11, starting in verse one. It says, now a certain man was sick named Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary and her sister Martha. It was that Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair whose brother Lazarus was sick. Therefore his sister sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, who, he whom thou lovest is sick. When Jesus heard that he, had, that he said, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. When he had heard, therefore, that he was sick, he abode two days still in the same place where he was. We're going to stop there tonight. To be honest with you, I, I kind of got this message this week, talking to a man, talking to an individual, and we was talking about this world and talking about the wickedness of this world and how evil it is and how worse it gets as time goes on, and it does, and I'm not going to stand up here and talk about that because it's something we already know. Yeah. Um, there was a shooting last night in Willersburg. A deputy was shot. 
And it's, it's right here around us. It's not in Columbus and Cleveland. It's, it's right here around us every day. And uh, we was talking, and, and it's a question that really gets asked a lot. I've heard preachers say this. I've heard singers and testimonies down through the years, and it's a question that we, there's really no answer for. And here's, here's the question. Why does awful things happen to such good people? Man, that a question that you feel like you've heard a hundred times. Why, why does awful things, why does terrible things happen to the people that love God, that serve God, that honor God, that has sang, that has preached, that has served Him with their whole heart, mind, and soul? You know, it makes sense for terrible things to happen to the drunkard down the road, but for the child of God who loves God and serves Him, sometimes it just leaves a scratch in our head and it just doesn't make sense. And as I was talking to this man, we was talking about the gun shootings. We was talking about the sickness. We was talking about financial stress and the heartache that finds itself at our doorstep from time to time. And this is, this is what this man said that left me scratching my head. This is what he said. He, he said this. He said, sometimes God just doesn't make sense. And can I be real honest with you? I'm saved I've been preaching for almost 14 years. A lot of you have been saved a lot longer than I have. And can I be honest with you, I almost felt bad, but on the inside of my heart, I wanted to shout, amen. Because sometimes, let's just be honest, I'm preaching to real people tonight, all right? Wait, let's, just, let's just take our spiritual caps off for a minute. Sometimes we, we, we leave our situation scratching our head saying this just doesn't make sense. We're praying we're going to church, we're reading our Bible, we're dotting our I's, we're crossing our T's, we're putting periods at the end of our sentences. We're doing everything we're supposed to do. We're faithful, we tithe. I'm doing everything that I know to do, but yet at the end of the day, I'm scratching my head saying, God, I just don't get this. This just does not make sense. And I know you may be saved and sanctified tonight, and, and that's great, I, I hope you are, but I also know that I'm preaching to real people that life has dumped them off in strange